Davidoff is all about quality. It's a mix of art and science. So uh, a Davidoff is not about origin necessarily. It's really through the entire process from the seeds to the soil, how it's cultivated, the curing process and the love of the people that's put into it. And that is something that you see in the end result in terms of the quality of the cigar and the experience you have. Definitely plays a very important role, an increasing role. Uh, as I said, uh, we're in a highly regulated environment. In that instance, it's less us talking about ourselves on social media, but it's more aficionados, it's experts, it's consumers that are talking about us. And it's very important that we provide the content and the experiences so that they have stories to tell. And this is something that we've just started also in China with WeChat, where we just gone live a couple of days ago, actually. And uh, it becomes more and more important. That's a key influence a strategy we um, obviously provide content for. Smoking cigars is something that is very popular among celebrities, whether they're from sports or from the movies. You would see um, Arnold Schwarzenegger clearly smoking very big cigars. It's not necessarily people with the most money or the most wealthiest. It's really a choice. If you think about the ticket uh, of a cigar, which is not like if you buy an expensive watch for dozens of thousands of dollars, but it is something that is affordable, but it clearly is a pleasure and it's a luxury. And uh, I think in that instance, you really get people who find and discover the pleasure of um, experiencing a nice cigar in a special moment, be it with friends, be it alone, be it with business partners. And in that instance, it's from all walks of life, but it has something to do for sure with choosing a specific lifestyle. I mean, definitely uh, with, the, with the limitations that have been put up by the law, specifically in Asia, specifically for China, uh, we've seen a, a decrease over the last two, three years. However, it's coming back and the number of Chinese travelers is constantly increasing. But it's really about well preparing for it and we were really ready before it happened and also we can, through optimizing our processes internally, um, absorb cost and pass on actually a smaller portion to the consumer compared to some of the competitors. But uh, we obviously have to comply everywhere we are also in Asia and there's uh, many regulations in Asia as well and also new, one co new ones coming up. We treat it very similar than in other luxury categories, meaning there is one travel retail price for all of Asia and uh, we do obviously specific and special editions. Uh, partly city editions, um, partly country editions, and that's how you can differentiate very nicely and you make it less comparable. And we also have a difference between the domestic market and the travel retail market. Um, the old notion of duty-free obviously still exists, although it's not as present anymore as it used to be. I think convenience plays more and more an important role in travel retail. And I have to say some airports um, offer shopping experiences that are really, um, I would say, role models versus partly the retail experience as well. So you find airports where you create shopping temples where people really like to spend time and where price becomes less of the dominant criteria to go shop there. So the joint venture with Bluebell is a little bit more than a, than a year old. However, the joint venture is more of a, of, a, of a legal, has been more of a legal act. We're working with Bluebell uh, as long as I can think. So it's a very long established, very trustful partner. So we consider Bluebell when it's about Davidoff and cigars is basically part of the company. We're one company, how we work together. And we do have the travel retail side, but we also have the domestic side. And I have to say, um, in all my experience, but also what I hear from colleagues, it's been just a wonderful journey working with Bluebell. Maybe one thing I would add, one thing that is really special about Bluebell, among other things, is they really understand brand. They really understand branding. So it's not a distributor partner. It is someone who understands what the brand equity is and how you basically create that experience with that brand and that's very important.